All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. It's been beautiful up here in the mountains. I hope it's great where you're at as well. I'm not going to keep you from it. So small list here, gang. Just markets are crazy. I hate to put things out the day before without knowing where we're going to be. So pending how futures open, this is what I'm kind of looking at going into this week, right? So first one gonna be amd right slightly short skewed okay because you know obviously it's in a downtrend right so slightly short skewed here but the reason i want to do a little bit of a strangle is it's looks like we may uh, knock on wood here but i don't want to call it a bottom but as you can see moving averages have curved over they're now going sideways versus like straight down like everything else was all right so I want to lean it a little bit short because I, I don't feel like we're going up anytime soon, but we might see temporary relief. So I want to go ahead and sell like a 120 fall right above the 200 day. Okay, that's going to give some wiggle room, right? Right now, it's actually going to give the 8, the 21, the 50 resistance again, about 104 and change. And again, up here about 111 and change and then the 200 day. And then the 120 is going to be an area of resistance as well. You can see there. Right. And then I'm looking at selling the 65 put, which is going to give you, you know, support right around the 84 area. And then actually you've got a little bit more down uh, 84 there. There it is. About 78, 79. Okay. And then 60, 72, 73. So there's a lot of support also covered here. But like I said, also leaning it short in case it does break down below this. I feel like. You might see a little bit more action here. So, AMD, June 24th, a weekly, just because the monthly is 26 days now, and July's monthly is a little too far out for me. So, trying to find liquid stocks, going to a weekly, June 24th, 33 days, tomorrow will be 32. So, 65 puts, fairly tight spread, decent volume, right? And then the 120 calls, also fairly tight, okay volume. I would like to get. Let's call it a dollar twenty-five or better. Okay, that's gonna put you ten dollars past the expected move, maybe even more than that. And then uh, the sixty-fives are gonna put you about ten, slightly more than that, uh, past the expected move. Eighty-eight pop, almost four deltas short. One hundred twenty-five bucks for nine hundred thirty dollars. Super cheap, nice little play here. Next one's gonna be Bank of America. Now. <clears throat> Bank of America, I like it two different ways here, okay? It's gonna be looking, I like it to the downside for one, okay? I would like to see it bounce a little bit. As you can see, it, it, it is, it finished about halfway to its low on Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it does have momentum picking up to the downside. So we got a light squeeze with the momentum coming in. So I wanna see Bank of America continue to push down and it's got run room here. Looks like down to 29 area. So I wanna sell two different ways. You can go naked with this one. Up here at the 39, which is gonna get you above the 50 day, right at almost a, a decent resistance level here, okay? And then the call spread would be the 37 call spread. Gonna get you above the 21 day. So you'll have a little bit of wiggle room there. And like I said, I wanna see it break down. I'll run it down and okay. hopefully this squeeze will fire it short so when you look at bank of america it's going to be this one is going to be july okay the monthly in july all right looking at selling those 39 puts nope 39 calls for you know 27 to 29 cents okay that's gonna you know we'll go we'll go mid price it's a tight spread 84% probability, right? Your P50 is greater than 99%. That's, that's pretty good. Your deltas, if you go with four contracts to get over 100 buck, is is 57 and a half short deltas. That's a great way to hedge your portfolio if you're a, a bullish person here. This will be a good good amount of short delta. And 116 bucks. It is a little expensive. Okay. Now, if you can somehow get 34 cents, like if it kind of maybe gapped up a little bit before heading down, then you can do three contracts and it'll keep you at a grand for a hundred bucks. Okay. Take off a little bit of that short delta. But right now we're just going with 29 cents for contract minimum. 
1300 bucks. Now your defined one will be like the 37s and the 39. $2 wide for 35 cents, three contracts here. Going to give a great 76 pop, still a lot of short delta, 37 and a half, 105 bucks for less than uh, $500 of risk. Okay. All right. So the next one is going to be Cisco, C S C O. It got beat up from earnings. So I feel like we're just going to go sideways with this one and not do too much right now. You notice last earnings, it really didn't do much either. Okay. Last earnings, it went sideways for a little bit as well. Last earnings, it went sideways. I feel like it's just going to kind of continue to consolidate every time after earnings, not really move too much. So what I'm looking at doing here is <clears throat> selling a 48 call, which is Pretty much gap fill okay so you've got a lot of run room here and then I'm looking at selling the 38 put which is going to give you a reasonable amount of run room to the downside 38 puts you do got a lot of support okay before having to be tested so I just want to see this continue to go sideways for a couple of days now this one will be a weekly so it's only 30 day trade and then you're looking at June 24th selling those 38 puts okay they are 10 cents wide unfortunately but I don't want to go to July and then the 48 calls these are about nine cents wide 50 cents or better now, I wouldn't uh, go any lower unless you're okay with that but this gives you two dollars past expected move on both range 80 percent probability slightly long leaned okay 100 bucks for 860 dollars not bad okay not bad at all Alright, and then one bullish play here is just going to be because it's energy, and that's Chevron, CVX. So much like all the other energy stocks, they have been running up right now with everything that's going on. So what I'm looking at here is it's got a little bit of squeeze. Now the squeeze died off, uh, but I believe that's just because of Friday's pullback. So what I'm looking for here is a bounce off this ADMA, having this squeeze build up and look to fire and retrace back to those all-time highs. It has been somewhat in a channel. So, you know, like I said, like, like, like I said, a vertical spread or a naked call, naked put, whatever, those are directionally and sideways. So even if this does just continue to go sideways, this play will still work out, even though it's a bullish play. So what I'm looking at is a naked version of this all the way down at the 135s, okay? which is gonna be pretty much right at support level. You see this consolidation range down here. So you got the 82150, then you're gonna have around 158, and then you're gonna have around 155, then you have this last one here at 150, and then boom, you, know, you got run room down. But you got a lot of coverage with the naked 135 put. Then the defined risk one will have to be the 160 spread, which is gonna get you below the 50 day. So you still got a good amount of support there. You'll be hanging out right near the other line. We want to just see it run up back towards those highs. So this is going to be July 15th, also a monthly. And so it's going to give you a lot of time. Learn those 135s on the put side, $1.15 or better. Okay. It's a 93 probability. So really good odds here. And 115 bucks. It's a little bit on the expensive side, $1,300. But you know, you're $15 past the expected move. Really good play. And if you need to go defined, you go all the way up to the 33 delta, unfortunately. And you go with the 160, 155 call spread, $1.50 or better, okay? And it's a 62 pop, but then you're gonna be, you know, defined here for 350 and 150. So, not bad, good overall play, right? And that's it, you guys. We'll see how markets open, you know, tonight with futures and then what happens overnight and go from there, so. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I hope one day to see you guys in chat.